Welcome back to DC Reviews, and today we're going to install Hyperglides on a field gaming mouse. Um, so these are kind of hard to get, and pretty much Hyperglides for the FM1, which is all um, final mouse, come with two sets. Uh, it's $8.99 on their website and 5 bucks shipping, so $13.99. Uh, sometimes you get it on the Amazon, $13.99 each. So, yeah, these are generally sold out, but I've had this for a little bit. Um, as you see here, the Ultralight Pro. Um, I have Ultralight, I mean, I, yeah, Ultra, I have Hyperglides from another set, but they fit in this hole. So, now that I'm able to get this, I'm just going to fix that and put in the one that's made for it. Uh, G305, I just picked up this mouse, and it's been good, but you see the feet, uh, a little bit scratched up already, and the only problem is their kits, they don't come with this thing in the center, so some people remove it entirely, some people just leave it, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, right now, uh, and then the G Pro Wireless. So these two just came out. So I just got them. But I got the iFixit kit. My bench made um, bug out knife. So that's probably all I'll need to, to do this. Just gonna get a thin flat head in my knife. Alright, let's start with this as practice. So I'm just prying it, getting my screwdriver in there and prying. And it comes off clean. Oh, still a little bit of sticky residue. But it came off easily. This one's on there. Yep. There you are, no residue left behind. They've been cleaned off from last time. Let's open it up. And pretty much has a bag within a bag. These is a Ziploc bag. And I think not, not identical. So two with You're looking two with a sharp corner and two with a slow corner cut out. Boom and boom. You're supposed to um, wipe it down with a little bit of alcohol, IPA wipe. But since they're still clean, I'm just going to not do it. Alright, yeah, so they all got this uh, brown glue on the back. So. 
slide it into place. down to uh, seal it, seal in the glue. Nice and easy. Yeah, kind of just drop it in there and uh and push it around until it's in in the grooves. And then you just uh, push it down with your finger and it's good to go. Test it out. Oh, yeah. Yep. Nice and smooth. All right, so one done. Let's do. Let's do another one. Yeah, the G three oh five, uh yeah, it's kinda scratched up. So Oh you just get your fingernails in there too. Half of half of the uh, feet. came off clean as well. Right, so this comes with this little dot here as well. easier with a knife because it's so sharp let's get in there and uh, oh crap just get in there and uh, wedge it up fortunately I just got the top layer I didn't get the 
bottom layer. What you can do as well is there's a hole, so I just stuck the knife in the hole and wedged up. And it's coming off clean. So I think I'm gonna get the alcohol. This one I got. Got everything on this one. Yeah, just some residue issues the uh, what came off to uh, get it off. one in the middle mine has a little dent in it already so I'm just gonna take it off and leave it like that seem like they're too layered. Alright, G305. I did buy mine off of uh, Amazon. So if you, uh, if that's what you're looking for, try on Amazon, see if they got it. So this is kind of maybe one of the reasons people aren't using Final Mouse for uh, these. I mean, they just came out, but it um, doesn't have that center ring. And all the other kits that aren't Final Mouse, like, they come with a center ring as well. And I would have prefer that but I don't really know what their reasoning was all right so they're all identical just uh, peel it and then definitely uh, do the IPA wipe I just don't feel like gonna get it in the uh, you know, either having you guys wait and whatnot. It's one. It's two. Last one, and then the dot on the bottom. This is a small dot. The, the um, paper on the back of these. Uh, 
easy to remove, which is good. So I'm sure some of them are like a pain in the butt. That yeah, you can just drop them in there. They don't stick until you uh, push down. difference between the regular feet and the hyperglide boom right there that's a ha that's a whole mouse length almost all right last one this one is the g305 so we're done with that done with this Mm, got a mess right here. Alright, this is kind of all over the place. Same thing here in the middle. On this one, there is no damage to it, so I'm just going to leave that. And then on the, um, on the Jeep Wireless, it has one, two, three, four pieces. Got them both. I just use this to get a little bit of uh, duplets in there. Uh, and I'm gonna get the. Uh, We'll get the IPA for this one. All right, let's take a journey to journey to the bathroom. It's dark. Alcohol. Paper towels. on my G Pro like this groove here a lot of gunk gets stuck inside and if you see it there's the white edge even this um, feet coming out has a lot of gunk on the edge so it's pretty much why I want to get the IPA IPA might stand for something else. Very popular uh, in my parts. Wait a minute. Is there another layer in here? Yes, there is because there's no screw holes. Keep digging.
one seems slightly more involving than the other two I did. Just because it's longer, I guess. Oh, yeah, all that gunk is coming off. So that is good. Oh, look how clean that is. Maybe I don't need the white bathroom. Whoops. And there's like a little entrance. If you see right here, right here, here, and here. It's easy to find the hole and stab through it. Almost there. This might be a little bit tricky to put in too. off the knife while I'm at it. Alright, let's open her up. Two sets, so if you uh, wear down later, you can replace them. So if you only find the long one and the three of the short ones. And uh, if you cannot find them, you either have to, if you're looking on a if you're looking on um, their website at Amazon, you can't find them pretty much. eBay, you might find them, but there'll be people charging crazy money. 
or yeah, Amazon if, if regular retailers don't have it on there. It'll be resellers. Trying to get you. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. That's why. Oh yeah, feels nice. Can't wait to do some gaming on these. Test it out. And yeah, the, the fit and finish is uh, very good. These guys are kind of. These guys kind of started this whole thing, and now it's uh, I don't know how big the business is. But it's a huge, huge business all around. Well, pretty much China. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I noticed a difference. Smoother. All right, let's let's race them again. Oh, it um, yep. Yeah. The uh, G three hundred five might still have a little bit of vanish because it has more, uh, it weighs more. Yep, yeah, but now it's similar. Yep. Yeah. Now it might be like a quarter of a mouse. Before it was like almost a whole mouse. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.